Hey everyone, welcome back to another tutorial on Coca. In this week, we will look at the latest, the newest feature of Coca in 2020, namely the word feature. And we will explore this one with, uh, in relation to the word meaning and collocate, yeah, the topic in our last uh, class for English lexicology and lexicography. Um, as we know, one of the key research agendas in lexicography is describing the meaning and the use of words. And we could ask a few questions a uh, few key questions in relation to this agenda such as what are the different senses or meanings for a given word as we know that word it is a norm for a word to be polysemous to have more than one meaning yeah and how common are the different meanings for a given word yeah? which meaning is uh, more frequently encountered more frequently found in the use of the word and how can we use computer and corpus data electronic text such as coca to explore meanings, to get a clue for the meanings of a word, because we know um, we cannot see meaning. Meaning is not visible and typically associated with, with the mind. And how can we observe that, look at meaning through language? Um, before we move to the tutorial, I would like to talk about, uh, about um, usage-based approach to me toward meaning, which is part of a larger linguistics paradigm nowadays, namely the usage-based model of language. Um, there are three, I think, key figures that uh, whose ideas are influential to this uh, usage-based approach toward meaning. Okay, the first figure is uh, Ludwig Wittgenstein, famous philosopher, who proposed the idea that the meaning of a word is its use in the language. Okay, it may sound so intuitive and trivial, but this is super powerful idea that we will see how later on. Next, another influential figure in the usage-based approach to meaning is John Ford. You shall know a word by the company it keeps. So you may know the use and meaning of a word by the company, the, the other words that typically occur with the word that you study in the use of that word, yeah. Very powerful. And this idea is also often cited in many um, corpus linguistic studies. Lastly, Zelig Harris, um, Propose that if we consider word or morpheme A and B to be more different in their meaning than A and C, then we will often find that the distribution of A and B are more different than the distribution of A and C. So in other words, difference of meaning correlates with difference in distribution. This distribution is the use, the contextual usage or the usage patterns of a word that you study. Okay, um, with these three influential ideas from three important figures in linguistics at large, we get into the idea of collocates, which is uh, which are the approximate or a clue for word meanings. Okay, what are collocates? Collocates are words that commonly occur with a given target word in text. So this goes back <clears throat> to fourth idea of company that the word typically keeps in language use. Yeah, collocates words that occur together and a given meaning yeah given sense one of the sense for a word tends to be associated with a set of semantically related collocates yeah um, a given meaning will be typically associated with a set of collocates for the word and when we identify the most common collocates of a word uh, we could get an efficient and effective means to start you know inferring exploring and yeah, analyzing the meanings of the word. Um, yeah, so that's the idea of collocates and let's do that, um, explore that with the word viral, via coca. So, um, sorry, that, not that one, this one. Um, yeah, so the word feature is in this tab word and it provides you with a lot of information for the word yeah, a wealth of information, especially for the top 60,000 words in the COCA corpus. And the information include topics, words that occur anywhere on the web page with the target word that you study, collocates that we will look at into further detail. Um, and they are automatically grouped by part of speech. Very useful. Cluster, the most frequent two, three, and four word sequence. Um, keyword in context, we did that last week synonyms and the website that use the word 
most often okay to do that we type in um, viral here okay and i hope all goes right now see detail info forward <clears throat> and you will be directed to this so-called home page of a word yeah the home page that hosts uh very rich lexicographic information um yeah so this graph may have been familiar by now yeah relative or normalized frequency of the word across different corpus genre and this is the rank within the 60,000 words yeah within the top 60,000 words where does viral rank so it is in the rank of 6,800 something and this is the definition of the word viral um, you may think that well that's not what I've used to hear or see how viral is used maybe in Indonesian or <clears throat> in any other media that you see but it is yeah viral originally means uh, that in the domain of virus okay it is related to virus originally and these letters are the first letter for the name of the dictionary uh, dictionary.com Miriam Webster Oxford Cambridge and Google definition um, I want you to explore this later on for uh, fun. This is really fun. Um, just go uh, explore this um, for fun. I find it very uh, enjoyable. Next, uh, we have synonyms. <clears throat> okay, words that have similar meaning and topics. Uh, all other words that typically occur with the word in question, in this case, viral, in the text. Okay, um, if you see here, many virus related words in fact this is acute epidemic pandemic COVID-19 okay um yeah um okay um we'll go to collocates later on cluster is the word sequence containing the target word that you study so two word sequence here one two one two either viral precedes another word or another word uh, precedes viral and this is the example, yeah, the most frequent uh, pattern with the two sequence of viral. We have three word sequence with viral and four word sequence with viral. Yeah, I want you to go click more later on in your own time. We know this concordance lines, yeah, very useful. Um, but what we will do now is going here in the collocates and as, as said in the help box it is already divided by part of speech um, and if we see the noun collocates this is the most frequent one video um, which may not have uh, something to do with virus okay marketing um, you may have different intuition or experience with the what would be the typical sense of viral that you may know um, verb and adjective we have bacterial online can virus spread online maybe not but yeah it different set of collocates and suggest they suggest different meaning okay let's see and click more <clears throat> okay four sets of columns uh divided by the part of speech of the collocates yeah and in each column it has six different sub columns one two three four five six um and i'll try to walk you through each of this this one is the absolute or raw frequency occurrence of video with viral and all other words with viral yeah the frequency of occurrence between these collocates within to the right or to the left of viral okay um yeah and video is the most frequent um, and then followed by infection now this column is the so-called collocation measure it's not just raw frequency it's used some statistical uh, measure to you know to measure how strongly the connection between each of these collocates with viral yeah the higher the mutual information the higher the collocation measure the stronger um the connection between these collocates and viral okay um, mutual information is one of the many 
collocation measures that you will find in corpus linguistic literature and mutual information or MI is the one that uh, is most commonly used um, next this column this is related this one and this one this indicates the position um, in the position of occurrence of viral our note word in relation to these colloquies whether viral occur more frequently more commonly to the left of the colloquies or to the right okay if this uh cells here are highlighted like this one highlighted by the different shades of gray yeah like movie title it means that the note word our target word viral are more commonly uh present to the left of the colloquial so this one is not highlighted so this is not the typical position for viral to occur with this um colloquies here okay and if we see um, virus with virus so viral typically occur after virus yeah, to the right okay so that, that's um, what these columns mean and the, the darker the, the shades the the more common viral or your note word to occur in this position yeah um, okay well if there is no highlight maybe it means that they are uh, roughly equal yeah no preference um we need to check that okay that's what i read from the help box if you click on this you will see further information yeah this question mark and lastly this one is the keyword in context display for how video is used with viral so by clicking on this uh, part you know how viral is used with video where does viral occur in relation to video whether to the right or to the left of video okay um let me try to click this um i hope everything goes okay yep okay um yeah so this is the keyword in context um and i don't know why a fan is highlighted okay um but anyway um video viral video viral video viral um that's strange because um the viral word occurs at least by looking at some of this to the right of video which is um not highlighted okay let's see what does this uh question uh help box says about that i remember i read that correctly look at information five indicates whether the not word occurs primarily before or after the colloquial yeah um coca used the word bread to to illustrate the, this help um so the darker the color the more frequently the not word occurs on that side of the colloquial for example the cell before butter is highlighted because bread followed by butter such as bread and butter is much more common than butter follows by bread okay likewise the cell after love cell after love is highlighted because love follows by bread um, love is followed by bread such as love of bread is much more common than bread precedes love um so yeah so still i think it's valid information that this is the typical position for viral to occur in relation to video but maybe the context that we see here is just uh it happens to be context where viral occurs to the right of the word uh video okay because we have 700 tokens 700 occurrence of video and viral maybe that's just one percent or maybe 0 0.5 percent yeah but anyway those are um section where you can check the help box okay and now let's talk a bit about how we can use this kind of information colloquies to explore word meaning yeah we know words such as video um marketing do you market a virus maybe not campaign um internet youtube okay um post 
maybe online post ya um, media Facebook sensation okay um, this collocates sets yeah set of collocates reflect different meaning of viral which is not related to a virus but maybe it is motivated motivated by the original of the original meaning of viral that relates to virus yeah maybe the collocates with video campaign um, Facebook YouTube conveys the idea of quickly and widely spread over the internet yeah information that or something that spread quickly and widely over over the internet yeah popularizing something quickly over the internet which is different from the original virus sense but we know there is kind of relation metaphorical relation between the behavior of virus that can spread quickly all over a lot of people such as what we are experiencing at the moment with covid and the way information can spread quickly over media such as internet okay so that's there is a metaphorical connection between viral related to the behavior of virus and viral in its metaphorical sense meaning spreading information quickly over the internet okay and let's check i've checked that with the merriam webster dictionary and we have this meaning other meaning of viral in addition to the original one that is related to virus yeah quickly and widely spread or popularized by means of social media okay um right i think that's it um for the tutorial and also discussion about how we can use uh, or observe language use to infer meaning of words okay and this is just the link to um, go to the page where you can see how mutual information the collocation association measure is computed okay is calculated okay um with that i would like to close the tutorial and i hope to see you in class soon bye bye